Hey guys, it is Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Have a super fun one today from the great Van Halen. We're going to learn how to play Atomic Punk off of Van Halen 1. Um, so this one is just killer. It's, it's not the hardest riffs in the world to play either, so uh, if you want to get your hands on some Van Halen, I mean the solo is difficult, but you might want to skip that part. Uh, but the rest of it's got some really fun stuff in it, some fun riffs that are not that hard to play. Um, so anyway, before I jump into it, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and ring the notification bell so you'll know when I release a new video, and check out my Guitar Academy, please. You'll see the link in the description below. That link will give you a free seven-day trial. Uh, that free seven-day trial gives you full access to all of my guitar courses that include complete beginner courses to uh, uh, more advanced courses on improvisation, technique, uh, theory, ear training, guitar tone, and all that good stuff. So please go check it out. All right, so we are in standard tuning here. Uh, no, I'm sorry. No, we're not in standard tuning. We're in E-flat tuning. What are you talking about, man? Uh, so we are uh, in E-flat. I'll put the notes in the description there, but you probably know what that is. And we're going to start here with this muted intro, which has a phaser on it. Let's cut that off. So, I don't know. It sounded like my phaser sounded better earlier. Maybe I tweaked the settings and something got messed up. But anyway, sorry about that if it didn't sound like it. It's supposed to have a whoosh to it, <laughs> but uh, uh, my whoosh is gone. So, um, we basically going to start, uh, phaser or not, with just these muted hits. So, you just kind of mute the strings down here with your fret hand. And then you play here. So when people do this kind of thing, they generally get in trouble because they do too big of. And then when they want to do the 16th, they're they're screwed. So uh, watch Eddie do it, and watch people who know what they're. You know, he uses he doesn't strum all the strings when he's doing this. He keeps it kind of more compact. So when he does that 16th, he can really just kind of flick his wrist a little bit, and that's it. Um, he doesn't need to do these huge, you know, motions from the elbow to make it happen. So that's... Back to the ace. little burst in there. So it's just that with a 16th note burst. Um, so it's, oh, you just gotta kind of listen to the riff and just kind of follow it. It's not that big of a deal. And then we have this. So this is, starts with a low E open. Hammer 710 on the A. Then back to the open E. And then from hammer seven nine. So, so slow. So vibrato there, and then you're gonna jump back and um, uh, play this power chord off the uh, second fret of the A string, and then fifth fret. So. This time, after you did that little two hammer ons, we have the first fill, which is the seventh fret there on the G with a whammy bar. So we have this. Back to the riff again. So, when he's doing this riff, by the way, when you go back to here, you can hit that low E in there if you want before you get those chords. And then the, the last fill was just a bar dive on the low E string. And then that takes us to the first verse, which sounds like this. Thank you. 
All right, so uh, that's that same riff. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. we're starting to start out with a D power chord. So what he plays is this D power chord, so it's the open D string, second on the G, third on the B. And then you start kind of palm muting um, the uh, kind of an eighth note feel on the uh, D, D string. And then you pull up three, two, zero on the A. So like this. Again. So that, when you start hitting that, it's before the end of the measure. So it's like. And then we go to that same riff we did before. And we're going to get back to the beginning of the verse again by now going, reversing those chords and going five, two. So all together for the verse. All right, and then start over. Okay, two, five again. And then you're gonna end this first verse with this low E bar dive again. That is gonna be the one little difference, that little bar dive right there then from verse two. So keep in mind that, we'll, I'll show you that when we get there. All right, and now we have the chorus. It's very short, it looks like this. All right, so that was just um, E5 power chord. So the open E string, seventh fret on the A, ninth on the D, ninth on the G, and then the open B and high E with it. Then you're gonna take it down to D. So take it down two frets. You're not gonna hit the low E string anymore though, but you're still gonna have the open B and high E. And then it sounds like uh, he goes back into that muted thing just real quick. And it sounds like this time he's got a flanger on it. Flanger, flanger, flanger. Uh, I got a little bit of wish on that one. That's got more of that airplane thingy going. All right, so after that little brief kind of chorus, just those two chords in the muted section, we have the main riff again, which this time has slightly different fills in it. But other than that, it's the same. It looks like this. <laughs> So uh, that first fill was, so the uh, riff around it, so now I'm just showing you the difference of the fills because the riff's the same. We have this 12th fret on the G string, bar dive, flick it to the open G, and then bring it back. And then the last little bit, we have two harmonics, the low E, 12th fret, and the harmonic of the D string, 12th fret. And that takes us back to verse number two. Now, verse number two is the exact same as verse number one, except that last bar that I've talked about. Instead of that, you're doing, you're going to do another five, two. So we have this. This is verse number two. See if, uh, see if you can pick up the difference. That five two to the same chorus, and then we're to um, this next section, which actually I think it's that flanger again. And he's doing a, he's doing some kind of pick straight thing, um, kind of going down. But then when we get to the solo, it's actually a phaser 
on his, and some delay and reverb on his tone. All right, so let me go through the solo real quick for you, and then I'll show you how to play it phrase by phrase. So obviously that has a phaser on it. Uh, I'll take that off real quick though. So we have this. So that's just a 12th fret on the high E string into a bend at the 15 on the B. Do that three times. Then play 12 on the high E, bend at the 15 on the high E string, and then play 15, 14, 12, and then into a couple more that what we were doing earlier. So we have this. And then another patented Eddie Lick shows up. So that is Pulling off 15 to 12 on the B. Over to 15 on the G. Back to, so pulling off 15 to 12 on the B. Over to 15 on the G. Back to 12 on the B. And then you're gonna pull off 15 to 14 on the G. So you do that lick twice. B. Down to the 12th fret, there was some wide vibrato there on the G string. So what he's doing there, he picks 17 on the high E, and then he overbends a step and a half bend there on the 20th fret of the B string. I want to sound like that. And then a two whole step in. Release. Pull off to 17. Over to 19 on the G. And back to uh, 17 on the B string. That one's cool. So, so you pick it now. You have the 17 on the B string, and we start this little descending. So, step at the bend uh, at the 19th from the high E string. Release down to 15 on the B. Then you're gonna kind of do the same lick, just different notes. 17th fret there on the B string. Release, down to 12 on the, uh, I'm sorry, 14 on the G. And then, then at the 15th fret there on the B, and uh, 12th fret there on the G. And then, then at the 14 on the G, bend and release, Resolve that to 12th fret on the D. So it is. Do it again. And then bend the 14th fret on the uh, D string. And we start this little descending line down the A string. That's 10, 12. 9, 10, 7, 9, then 
five seven. Four five. So it is. So it is. Let me just There, the two there on the A string. So we have this. So that's a that's a, a step and a half bend again at the ninth fret of the G string. Release, pull off to seven, and hammer back to nine. And then we're gonna. So that's sliding into the 13th fret of the G. Skip over to the 12th fret on the high E. And then jump up here to the. Um, the uh, four, I'm sorry, the uh, 17th fret on the B string. You're just doing an octave of this. So up a step and a half again. So we had a bend and then. Play 15 on the high E, then again. So uh, then we have this. And that's a, a bend and release at the uh, 15th fret of the beat. Pull off to 12, over to 14 on the G, and then back to 12 on the B, 12 on the G. All right, so we have this. And then we had this little uh, tremolo pick thing. So that's. That's just. The note you'll be picking is the seventh fret there on the uh, low E. You can start at your second fret there if you want. And then. But then we have. Five, six, seven, eight, nine on the uh, A string. And then six, seven, eight, nine on the D. Six, seven, eight, nine on the G. Into a bend there. Then up at the eleventh fret here, a step and a half bend on the G string. And then you come back here. Pinch harmonics maybe in there. That's seven on the B, seven on the G, over to nine on the D. And then play nine, seven on the D. And then in it, it. So that's just that B power chord at the second fret, and just play just in kind of a rhythm. And then we're back to the phaser. So. So this one, you kind of extend it, but the, it's got a longer group of at the end. So, uh, but otherwise, it's kind of the same thing. Quick little dive at the end, and then we have the main riff again, um, with once again just slightly different. Fills. So we have this. All right, so we know the riff. What are the fills? So this fill, these harmonics go really quick. And there's one that's not a harmonic in there. So we have a 12th fret there on the uh, G and then the high E. Then the seventh fret there on the G. Here, we're gonna hit the high E string in there. So, it might have been going for that note. I don't know, but um, it's a high E string, open string there. Then from there, he plays the seventh fret on the B, and then play five, play five on the G, and five on the B. So those go by so fast, you can't hardly tell what's a harmonic or what's an open string. So it goes by pretty quick. All right, and then we have the 
last build, which is just that uh, G string uh, dive bomb. All right, so then we're um, back to the verse again. So this has slightly different fills again. So it uh, sounds like this. Alright, so that is the same riff at 2 5. And that little fill there, you kind of just slide up the G or the B string and hit the open, you kind of flick it, the open high E, and then do a bar dial. You can just slide up the high E actually. And just when you flick it off, just do a bar dive on it. And then. Same here, and then this last fill is uh, just a, some whammy action on the 12th fret there on the G. And then we have the ending, uh, which looks like this. All right, now that starts with that E5 power chord um, that we started the course with. And then the D power chord with the open B and high E strings. Then what we're gonna do is just go to the fourth fret on the A, seventh on the uh, D string, sixth on the G, open B and high E. Then this C, power chord still with the open B and high E in there. So that's the three on the A, D, and the five on the D and the G. Try this. And then to that same little thing that we ended the solo with. And then take it over to this F power chord, the first fret of the low E string. They hold that and then some feedback comes in there and he does some like a little whammy bar with the feedback, which I can't make happen in here. But... And then end it with the E power chord. All right, so that one is a fun one. So the, the fills aren't that overly difficult and the, the riff is like really cool and fun to play. Uh, the solo's pretty tricky, but um, uh, if you can play it, play it. If not, just rock out. It's it's just got it's got some killer riffs throughout, and it's it's just really fun to play. All right, so we love you, Eddie, and I'm gonna keep on uh, doing more Van Halen soon. So I'll see you guys then. <laughs>